Hi all, today we discuss uh, theorem 4, the mean value theorem and the same section. Uh, last day we have seen what is uh, Rawls theorem and uh, its problems. Uh, now we will prove the mean value theorem. The statement is suppose y is equal to f of x is continuous on a closed interval AB and differentiable on the intervals interior uh, that is open interval AB except then points. Uh, then there is at least one op one point C in open interval AB at which f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a equal to f dot c. Okay, what is the uh, geometrical meaning of this? Uh, if you consider the function uh, y equal to f of x, that is this blue curve, uh, then consider two points. One is a and uh, next is b on this curve. Then you can easily uh, draw a line from a line passing through a and b. Okay, so if uh, this is the this yellow uh, graph is the line uh, passing through A and B. You can find uh, at least one point inside this A comma B such that uh, at this point C comma F of C uh, on the uh, on the graph of y equal to f of x, you can get F dash C is same as this uh, F of B minus F of A uh, divided by B minus A. Okay, this is actually the slope of uh, this line segment passing through A and B. Okay, the same slope will be obtained uh, for a tangent at some point uh, in between A and B. That is the geometrical meaning of this. Clear? Yeah? So, uh, so this 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 uh, A is the point uh, A comma f of A, and B is the point B comma f of B. Then uh, this represents the uh, slope of a, a straight line passing through two uh, points, A and B is defined as f of b minus f of a uh, divided by b minus a. Okay, this is the slope, slope of the line segment, or line passing through A and B for the same. So uh, Minerva theorem asserts that there exists at least one point C in between A and B such that f dot C. F dot C is the slope of the tangent at C. Okay on the curve uh, y equal to f of x. So uh, for, uh, on, on the curve uh, y equal to f of x you can find a point uh, c comma f of c uh, and f dash c represents the slope of the tangent at that point. Okay, So that will coincide with this one. Okay? This is we have to prove. So in order to prove this we consider uh, a, a function uh, g of x equal to f of a plus uh, f of b sorry minus Uh, f of a plus uh, f of b minus uh, this f of uh, a divided by b minus a into x minus a. This is the uh, equation of the straight line. Okay, because this this uh, line passing through a and b pass, uh, passes through a, so we can say that uh, uh, this a is the point a comma f of a. Okay, so the slope is this. Then uh, the equation of the line passing through x0, y0 and slope is m is uh, written as y minus y0 is equal to m times x minus x0. So that is y equal to y0 plus m times x minus x0. So this is y0 is the y component of uh, this point. Here we our point is a comma f of a. So the y component is f of a. So that is uh, here f of a plus m this is m and x minus a x minus a is the point a is the uh, x coordinate of this point so if you consider the uh, function g of x and define you uh, h of x as uh, f of x minus g of x okay so this is always a polynomial in uh, x minus a or x so this is always differentiable and continuous as well so if you consider f of x minus g of x, then h of x is continuous, differentiable, continuous and differentiable. Okay. Then you evaluate what is h of a. h of a is f of a minus g of a. There. That is f of a minus, what is g of a here? g of a is obtained by replacing this x by a. 
So here we have a minus a that is 0. So that is same as f of a. So we can say that g of a is same as f of a. Hence this is equal to 0. Uh, now you evaluate h of b. h of b is obtained by f of b minus uh, what is g of b? Okay. Uh, g of b is uh, g of b is obtained by g of b uh, equal to uh, f of a f of a plus uh, f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a into b minus a right that is g of b g of b is f of a f of b minus f of a by b minus a into b minus a okay. so you can cancel this b minus a now you have again f of b minus f of a f of b minus f of a that is 0 now we can say that it satisfies the hypothesis of Rolle's theorem h of a equal to 0 h of b equal to 0 and h is continuous and differentiable therefore there exists by my uh, Rolle's theorem there exists c belongs to open interval a b uh, such that uh, h dash c equal to 0 okay. what is h dash c here from this you can write h dash c is equal to f dash c minus g dash c. Yeah, this is the uh, derivative of h from this equation. Now, what is h dash c? h dash c is f dash c minus g dash c. So, uh, that is 0. That is f dash c should be equal to h dash c equal to uh, 0 means uh, f dash c should be equal to g dash c. Now, you evaluate g dash c. What is g dash x here? From this you can write g dash x equal to f of a is a constant so derivative 0. Uh, here we have x minus a uh, is a uh, first degree polynomial or x minus a derivative of x minus a is 1 and this is the constant so f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a into 1. So this is our g dash x. Okay. So what is g dash c? g dash c is obtained by replacing x by c but there is no x here so g dash is same as f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so this is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so you can say that uh, if the uh, function y equal to f of x is continuous and differentiable uh, then you can find c belongs to open and a b such that f dash c equal to uh, f of b minus f of a okay so this is the uh, I mean uh, proof of mean value theorem. Uh, now we can find some uh, examples for uh, mean value theorem. Uh, we need to consider some functions and uh, we will uh, uh, verify mean value theorem for those functions. For example, consider the function f of x equal to x square in 0, 2. Okay. Then, uh, th since this is a polynomial, this function is uh, differentiable and continuous. Then we can say that uh, if f of 0 equal to 0 and f of 2 equal to 4. Now, you can uh, find c such that f dash c equal to f of 2 minus f of 0 divided by 2 minus 0. That is 4 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 that is equal to 2. So, we can easily find a point c in between 0 and 2. Now we will find what is that c explicitly. So uh, what is f dash c? f dash x is uh, 2x implies f dash c is 2c. Uh, f dash c equal to 2. Okay. So uh, f dash x is 2x, f dash c is 2c, then f dash c equal to 2 implies 2c equal to 2 implies uh, that c equal to 1. This is clearly in between 0 and 2. So, this shows that uh, corresponding to uh, the function f of x is x square in 0, 2, we can find a value 1 in between 0 and 2 such that uh, f, of, f dash of 1, okay, this is f dash of 1 is equal to f of 2 minus f of 0 divided by 2 minus 0. So now we can say that the, role, uh, the mean value theorem is verified.